Hey everyone, this is Gus and welcome to the new transmission for COVID-19. <laughs> Actually, this is my new transmission for uh, Zero to Hero, concept art made easy. <laughs> well, some easy. Well, uh, this is uh, what we're going to do right now is uh, welcome to everyone who is uh, watching us for uh, Facebook, um, what's the other? Uh, YouTube, Twitch, and Periscope. So my name is Gus. I'm a graphic artist, a, aka artist, aka painter, digital painter, or ill digital illustrator and concept artist. And uh, what I'm doing right now is uh, we're going to start painting one character that we start like last week. The character uh, name is Katsuyori. I don't know if you see it here, but sooner you will see it. Well, how is the character? First, we get to the sources. What is the sources? Well, first part to doing concept art and trying to create a character is first have an idea. So what your character is going to be? Mine is going to be a pixel, pixel cat samurai now. It's a, cat, a samurai cat. So. I need first clothes for a samurai. I like the Edo period, like it pretty much. So it's gonna be a samurai with that kind of a kimono or, a, or clothes or outfit that way. Second, the other thing that I need for that is for this guy to be also a cat. So I need a Japanese cat because I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use a Japanese cat. There is a certain breeds for cats in Japan, other than the regular breeds that came from China or whatever other places, you know, because they are in Asia. There are a bunch of cats over there, a bunch of breeds. But I need something like a Japanese cat. So I find a nice, cute picture of a kitty with a kimono, posted by the Japanese. So. I just see, okay, that looks like a Japanese cat. So I'm gonna start using that. Second, oh, I mean third, once you got there, you start assembling the character. You start seeing the pose of this character or pretty much the movement this character is gonna have. It's not gonna be like uh, this so rigid and then is the backside as many, many like to draw. Concept art, the first approach of concept art is pretty much an illustration. So you have to do the character in a pose that is, you know, with enough personality and is enough like a strong or something. So this is the ideas that you may have. Obviously, all of them has to be on paper. You have to take notes. You have to see a lot of references about clothes, about um, you know this kind of a quarters they have, decorations, and you can use on our programs. The programs that we're gonna use is Clip Studio Paint. So for me, it's like a sh challenge showing everyone that Clip Studio Paint is not only for mangish, manga kind or Chinese illustrations. Clip Studio Paint is pretty much for everything. I mean, it's just a tool. The one who put the style or the part of the world you are is you. Not any, there is nobody that could tell you, oh, okay, no, Clear Studio Pain is only for manga or only for anime kind of characters. No, you can do European comics, you can do a DC comics, you can do cartoon, you can do whatever, you can do nice illustrations, you can do uh, whatever you have in mind. And also, you don't need sometimes special brushes. You can just start working with the stock brushes stock brushes yes with the stock brushes that comes with the program that's what i'm doing i'm using the stock nice uh, pencil they have which is the could be the, the sketch pencil or the or the hard pencil or hp pencils they have similar um, several over there so you can use it also once you finish that there, there is the second part of this. Once you just finish with your brute or rough sketch, you can just go and start or 
either using an inking or either using uh, um, uh, what is this? Uh, is it called mechanical pencil for the? It's a brush, mechanical pencil brush for the line art, and you just use all the rules for the line art. Then you can start, you know, painting. Well, for painting, I'm gonna show you three three steps that I have for painting. First, I'm gonna isolate everything, so I'm gonna create like a mass. That mass, I'm going to create different colors from that mass. But first, we are going to start working in the same layer for the mask. I'm not going to divide every single color. I go, I'm going to try to work in a traditional way in the same layer for everything. Which is sometimes it's better, it's a little, you know, it's a little uh, like a, uh, bothering. But true is, we can just try to do it. And we are trying to do it in less time. Because the more you practice, the more faster you are. And um, this is going to be all characters. It's going to be like three runnings that are going to make. First was Mao Surakawa, which is uh, a mouse. And I already did that. It's a samurai mouse. And the second is um, the second is Katsuyori, named Cat. is a cat. And the third is going to be Dogunishi, or Dogunishi, or Dogunishiki. I, I haven't been sure about the name. So which is dog, is dog, is a dog. So it's gonna be three runnings, you know, the mice, the mouse, the cat, and the dog. And I'm gonna make this, and then I'm gonna publish in my art station. It's gonna be like my, you know, portfolio kind of things. The other things is I will encourage, en encourage every, everyone, everyone that is watching this to go and try to do this by yourself, I mean, I'm, I'm painting or I'm drawing and you you gotta start drawing too. Pretty much not the same character. You can start drawing your own character, your own ideas, and you are using my uh, my uh, my tips, the tips that I'm gonna do and that I'm gonna give you as far as I'm doing the painting. So with no further ado, let's go and try to do offering the goonish. Uh, I mean. Kaksuyori, my title. So, okay, this is Kaksuyori. Oh, by the way, that's my Twitter at Gas Duenas. Also, I have a link in, in this transmission for you to support these artists. Yeah, just make a donation, whatever you, you have in mind. It will be helpful for these artists to continue, you know, trying to maintain in this channel. Well, this is the Gunishi. Uh, I mean, sorry, this is Katsuyori, the name is in there, that's the name, it says Katsuyori. So this is Katsuyori, it's gonna, it's something that I, I try to to do using actually actual cat anatomy. What? Yes, I did cat anatomy. Why you did cat anatomy? Well, if you are creating a character, you better know about the anatomy. Since you know human anatomy, many artists know, Human anatomy to your, um, you know, for your stick figure to your mannequin or to, and to your uh, rough sketch stages. You know that you can do the same with a cat. You just need to an idea about the cat. You know, every single vertebrate, vertebrate in this world have the same structure. I mean, the, we have a head, we have a, a neck, we have clavicles or uh, collar bones, we have a sternum or ribcage, we have the spine, we have coccyx or pelvis, and we have legs. And uh, what is different in them is sometimes the ratio of the head, the head is bigger or is smaller depending on the breed of the cat. I made his, I made his head bigger because for the purposes of this design, I like it. So let's gonna do this. By the way, if you are watching me on Twitch or if you are watching me on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to this channel because this is not gonna be the 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 last one. This is gonna be a little longer than the the regular ones that you see all over the the YouTube because let me explain you this. This is gonna be real time. I'm doing this on real time. 
the other guys in YouTube, they are talking in real time, but they are they already have something that it usually is a thousands uh, a, a thousands percent faster than the normal. So they can compress something that took in like a two or three hours and uh, and something uh, around 30 minutes and they just can fill out the space of the blanks they can fill out the blanks with text or people talking but you don't learn for something that is quick that that quick you will learn for something made in your regular rational speed which is human speed so let me show you I'm moving my hand here and also I'm moving here. So, you know, this is real time. So, let's go back to this guy. So, first, we're going to isolate this guy. We're going to compress this guy. First, I have to make a copy. Oh, yeah. So, I have to make a copy of all of these guys. You never know when you need them. Duplicate uh, layers. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Query for and insert layers. Yep. Okay. This is the duplicates. Bye. And now you can. these layers one and once you have the duplicates you can just make this layers none um, merge select the layers done yeah that one second we're going to make this it's a quick selection so we have this selected okay we know that everything is selected so we're going to select we said invert the selection area we invert it and we make a new let's come in here to these guys yeah see this is the new one and let me fill these guys with whatever i will fill this with this okay so this is a neutral color it's for me to know what is this one okay so I just selected that this is the mask. Yeah. Control D. And also, let me go and make this rough paper. Let me select this guy and make. Yeah, way better. But something is wrong here. Let me get, see. <laughs> Another layer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, we can finally do something with this. No, you don't. Hmm. Okay. Now we have a cut. We have um, this is a, a neutral area. So. Now I'm going to start watching the references of this guy here. Yeah, let's see the cat. Okay, let's see the cat. So I uh, need the color of the cat. So the cat is going to be like a, a white in some parts. And again, make, yeah, let's do the face of the cat. OK, now let's mask it. So we need this guy being like this painting. 
to the painting of this guy. Watercolors. We're gonna use uh, dense watercolor. I've been using dense watercolor a long time, so yeah, let's use dense watercolor. So the first thing that we're gonna do is go with this guy, soft. Hmm, probably a little like this. Yeah. We're gonna have the values. Okay, so these are the values we're going to do. Some values here. Maybe we'll have some lines here. I get some values here too. Let me go to the other oh, one I'm gonna use. Which is the samurai.
Okay, and now we have some values. Let's go back to the cat. Okay, we're back to the cat. So, next part. This is the part, just values. New one. And the new one is the one that we're going to do dance wear color. This one is going to be pretty much. Okay, so this is gonna be uh, like this. That is like yellowish. Yeah, no yellow. As you can see, guys, 
first I start making the whatever the place the shadows are gonna be so this is gonna be where the shadows are and I make my way around the shadows and I'm also blending this with the other colors because I know there is some kind of whiteies over here they're pretty much everywhere so just trying to blend this color and also there is a very very white here I guess like this some white here also there's some white here And now is the time for blending. Let's see how these guys are gonna blend. I'm not trying to use a huge blend, but I like to create textures. I know what my colors are, and I like to blending all of the way for creating the textures that are gonna be there. And for that, you don't need a huge blender, but just a small one. See? You will have this blending in the texture. See how you can do here. Also, you can create effects that can mimic the traditional way to paint. Oh, hmm. let me get rid of this guy. So yeah. So if you are not looking for a hyper-realistic kind of way to show things, you are just looking for something, you know, to look nice and can explain the idea you have with your character, you can use this.
This is when the pen pressure comes in handy. You know, pen pressure is what in the modern tablets, I guess, from now, but a long time ago, they, they already have pen pressure. But the pen pressure is something that imitates the pressure that you can just put in the brush or some something else. So you can just do this. See? Looks better, right? <laughs> Looks pretty nice. And uh, let me see. The eyes are pretty much this color. So I'm going to start using the, well, this. This. They are pretty much like this. So, mm, no. no, it's not this. Oh, so we're gonna try to do something like this. Oops, let me try. Yep, let me try to use this. something that's on top pretty much on top of everything okay see now it looks better Okay, now we have the cat, so we have to do some little arrangements about the colors here. Small ones, actually, pretty little. Well, okay, um, well, I'm not supposed to be. I you hate when you're on the layer where you are not supposed to be. Yeah. Also, I'm trying to get a little more like this. Okay, now it's my cat. Let me do the little thing is here.
was perfect. Ha, thank you, Animar. Okay, let me see if I have some, maybe I have something here. So we are making here this. This is pretty much like working with inks and watercolor, <laughs> something like that. That's the style I like it most. Thanks you are watching this kind of stuff. Okay. Let me just make little star lights. Doing better. Maybe have some white, pretty, pretty white. Some white. Mm -hmm. Well, there is no, there is no such thing as bad di digital art. Look, anime art. What you just need is more practice. That's it. That's why somebody got into certain stages. Is just practice, practice, practice. Practice may perfection, bro. I'm not considering myself perfect either. Okay. Mm, that looks better. Let's go back and do some white in this place because we need more white in these places. That looks bad. So, let's try to do the paws. Oh, they're white. So yeah, 
super super nice white yeah so boring now uh, let me go and do some uh, this kind of like a yellowish yeah this is a little yellowish whitey mm. he just has this start doing this which is guess what we're just blending if we're using watercolors you are you <laughs> <laughs> thanks man better okay if I take out the colors this little fella will look like this actually like this <laughs> we all colors so okay and this is like a kind of sketching I'm not doing this trying to be uber super perfect well, I'm using uh, Clear Studio Paint, by the way, for the the one that just connect right now. I'm using Clear Studio Paint. This is Clear Studio Paint, the pro version. And I'm using just the stock brushes. I'm not using anything that you can just download or something like that. I'm just using stock brushes. What I'm using is pretty much, mainly, is a dense word color and blenders. And for pencils, I will use the real pencil and the darker pencil for the final line art. And that's it. Now, if I want to do some inking, I will do the real GPA, which is already in the program. You don't have to download. This is the thing that you can download. Uh, I wish I could know Japanese. I have no idea what it says there. But this is some sort of lab in the pencil. It has nice... Uh, you know um, texture and this is the other pairs that I have a uh, brushes that I have a uh, pretty much custom brushes and it's pretty much oil paint but I never use it and uh, I haven't been using this in a long time for what I'm doing is using the watercolor print brushes and um, also the um, which is pretty much the stock brushes for clear studio paint. So let's go back and do our frame of her right here. Okay, so let's do something like this. See, once you know where the values are, um, you have like an idea what you want to have there. You can just make like this and go a little quick. So let me show you the quick. I'm here and then I'm gonna add the light. The light is in center points. And it's on right here. And I will use the blend. Let me keep it this a little more. Just to blend the so it's not gonna be like pure like a anime kind of uh, like a mangish kind of a color but pretty much something that's a little different and this style is is easy and it's fast you can do it fast so let's try to do what color has the kimono I would try to do like a grayish but I'm not sure Oh, well, I start digital art like uh, I'm just responding to anime. 
here animate um start digital art like uh, probably more than 10 years ago yeah i have an old walk on interest and i start trying to do digital art but i was a you know traditional paint artist for a long long time but uh, i just love computers and start doing G digital art around no more than 10 years around 2006 or something and uh, i really suck at it i can do some pretty nice um you know the the traditional realm but for digital i, I was really suck at it but recently i've just retake my my ideas of going to digital art like a four years ago or something and start taking courses online for example about the Carter Art School and Udemy.com and also watching a bunch bunch a bunch of videos all over YouTube about how to do things and the problem is that I was explaining at the beginning of this video is oh you start three months ago well that's cool man well don't don't you spare to be uh, don't you wait to be uh, like uh, don't you speak actually that's the word don't you expect to be like a you know Da Vinci in just three months <laughs> that takes a lot of, of of sweat a lot of practice and if you have a sketchbook use it the sketchbook it's easier than a computer and then just trying to translate that to the computer but uh, go to proco.com or proco uh, channel in YouTube there is amazing exercises I do all the exercises for trying to uh, lose your uh, your uh, hands instead of using your wrists you can just start using your shoulders and so forth so forth it's nice yes you should try it so let's gonna do this guy grish um, but i need like a green grish uh, yeah. yeah i like colors one thing i like to keep my paleto colors very very actually not that much like uh what is it not that much like a super colorful tons and tons of colors no i like to keep my palette of colors like many said three or four maximum and these are like a, a glimpse of those yeah this is a nice one so uh, oh I'm still in the blender. There's watercolor. So I already know where the shadows are, so I can replace it with my quarters. Sometimes I keep them because of day and they add on like a nice effect. Yeah, using clear studio paint you have some advantages and some disadvantages disadvantages this is no photoshop so you don't have tons and tons of brushes but to be true man in real life you don't have tons and tons of brushes there is like uh, 16 kinds of brushes for the 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 ones that are totally like flat they are like the bezel ones and they're also the ones for lines and for details so it's not like a wow there's a tons of tons of brushes no it is not such like that oh man i just forgot something here quick yes the palm was there <laughs> okay so we are coming back to this guy I 
I see the colors. Oh, by the way, I've been seeing references. And this is the reference you can see it by in the blink of your your screen. This is the reference that I'm using for the samurai. Not just for the clothes, but sometimes for the way the, the drapery used to bend around the the figure. So actually this is a cat, so you don't have to be like uh, super anatomically correct because this is a concept art that you just did. And 100% uh, of the times it will finish in one way or other, sometimes very different like than it was, but it was just show sometimes of a turn. So, okay. When you're using this blender with the boning fibers, you create these textures, textures like the real life. See? So you can, you can see like a real life colors. Let's see. Oh, looks a little plain for my taste. Uh, let me get uh, like this. Put this.
Okay, we are using right now the blenders again. Yeah, no. This part, I wanna. better so let me show you what are we gonna do with the part of the pants uh, there. okay color patterns uh, is something happening One looks nice. Okay, so yep, this guy is. So, <laughs> uh, can I get real? Mm, okay, so, mm, moisturize. 
Yeah, let's try it six times. And let me show you what I will do. What I will do is This is and I will do this. Oh. Hold on a For example, I'm not using this pattern for my for the scent. I'm using this pattern only for the kimono. Using it, I'm not using this also for the katanas. I'm not gonna use this for the katanas.
Okay, if I just said, okay, but I can uh, yeah, look that good. Oh, let me show you this. Now you have this, and you can just make this here. Oh, my. Voila. Looks better, right? Oh, it looks way better, right? <laughs> Thanks, Anime Art. This is a little trick. So you can just make up a turn, or whatever pattern you you find it. You can just make into the drapery onto your uh, cloaks or whatever, and the eyes will do the trick because you already have this with 3D three dimensionality. So is looking like the shadows is looking too light so when you just mix this and just put it into the I have the multiply so automatically the eyes assume that the pattern here is taking the form of your wrinkles which is not because it's totally plain but you can trick the eyes this way it's super easy this is something that you can just try and also, I have to do something else to this guy. Let me put it here, which is something like a, that I see in a manga thing. I'm going to start using the dense watercolor. I will use a dense, water, a dense watercolor grayish like this. Okay, and then the next part is making the katanas and the, I put this, um, I'm gonna make the, little, just like a Buddhist kind of stones here, and I wanna know, like a, like this color. Yeah, it's gonna be like this. No, oh, also we are here. Okay. We are gonna make out of um, wood. For this is small, I just don't need to be that precise. Just a couple of details there will do the trick. Because it's like making a, a comic or a cartoon. You just don't need to be s super specific about this. It's a couple of details. And those details will do the trick.
Okay. That's not looking good. So you already have some tiger eye. Also, you can do this. For example, you need more shadows here. So you can just start building things on top of it. For example, I need more shadows here. So we're gonna go sort of very, very black. But I don't want to distort my patterns and my design. So I can have some shadow here. And Or you can just erase that part. There's no more there. Or you can just take it. Or you can erase some parts that you don't want. For example, I don't want this part here. So we're going to get rid of this part. And this part in this place. One here, two. No, that part no. I need that part. But I want this to have a different color. So I'm going to run it for here and I'll blend it this way. See? Now I have a different color. So let's start with the katanas. for the katanas. Hmm. Katanas are basically black. That is gonna be the size of the katana. I mean the color of the katana is basically black. Mm -hmm. 
I need the parts on it actually. Here. So the katanas are basically black. I know that one. So we try to do a little more parts in the pot. We're coming back to the katanas. Too bad again. This time.
Okay, voila, Katsuyori is ready. Let me see my transmission. We did this in one hour and twenty-six. This is my this is my uh, final piece. This is Katsuyori. This is the way he's gonna look. This is the art. And I'm doing some tricks there. I'm trying not to keep so, uh, how you say, so uh, realistic. I just wanted to do this quick for you to see that you can do this and you can just present to your art director. This is, this is my idea for the character. I like him to dress this way or to have this way and then it'll, the changes will start. But this is the first approach. And the good thing is, you now have an idea what is your palette of colors. So with your palette of colors, you see, Katsuyori, it looks like a nice individual. It doesn't have too many colors. Uh, probably Doguchinki will have as many colors as this one. But this is the main idea about this guy. And let me show you another trick, which is going to be the last one that I have is for doing with the, see, this is how Katsuyori will look without the black lines, without the line art. So let me do again this, I'm going to make this a new one, and this one is going to be with the line art. So we have this color here. To make this color not that for example, not that um, black, black. So let's make it a little more like, yeah, this place. Yeah. So what I'm doing is actually this. So the colors won't be that black. I only will have black in the eye. So then would be a little more soft. Why do I do this? Because it will read softly. It will make way better the blending between the colors <coughs> and the line art. See, this is what you can do using Clear Studio Paint too. Yes, and if something in black, I will do it in black, but this time I just need in this color. See, it's not perfectly black. Let me show you how you see it. See? It's way better. Now you can see something more like a uh, subtim. And let's do the part of the nose. The nose. I'm supposed to do this, but I want something to do this part. A little more like this. Yeah, this part is going to be like this. So it will blend better with the colors. And you don't see like a perfect.
Yeah, see? See, it looks better. Also, for this guy, we need this. No, sorry, I need it a little. And this is the part that is pushing into whatever is in the Actually, I want this a little be a little darker. Yeah. Make this guy a little darker. Yeah, let's make this guy a little darker. No, we need this a little darker. No, it's better. Okay, now it's finished. Now you have, why we do this, um, take this all this trouble with the line art? Well, it's easy. In real life, you don't paint with black lines. You use these gradients, the shades of gray that looks like black or the color and richness with some red or in uh, plus or some blue that it make it darker. That is what happened in real life. So we're just trying to imitate a little the real life here. As you see, the colors right now, they don't look that, you know, black. The only thing that I keep the black is in the eyes and, uh, and in some parts. Well, for example, the little things, I just keep the, the black in there. 
So this is the character we just created. His name is uh, Kaksuyori. Thank you for joining me. And a little In other words, there is no such thing as bad art. Um, you you have to do art, but there's so many styles. But you have to master first figure shapes, uh, anatomy. If you are going through the like a kind of realistic kind of art, or even for the you, you need anatomy actually even for the for the most uh, underrated art, which is the concept art for movies, for games, you need anatomy because your character has to be well defined and they have to be nice according to whatever is in the is in the script or what is the way they like to have it. When I first started, I told you many times, I went to DeviantArt and I started drawing and I really suck if I compared myself at that for a very primordial stage with the other artists that have for years in there. It will happen to you as you go to art station and you're just, just started like anime art three months ago. It will happen, but don't let that discourage you. Don't let that, you know, let you down. Don't let it. Just go, go forward and practice, practice a lot. I have much and much of these sketchbooks and um, the best way to do is you are just lazy to go into your tablet or go into your iPad or go into your uh, computer like this and you said, oh, I don't feel in the mood. Well, there is always, you can just feel in the mood to go with a pencil and a single sheet of paper and start, you know, drawing. This is what I just did is a concept art. It's a character. It comes out of nothing. I just invented. Nobody else did it this before. I just make it for the sake of doing. It happened the same with creatures, with monsters, with whatever you have in your eye and your in your head. But if you don't practice, you won't do a good job because you never get to the primordial to the first shapes of that. So you have to do that. You have to practice a lot. And um, never discourage. Of course, this, you've been born with a talent, but this is a skill. This is something that needs practice, and practice makes perfection. That's it. And thank you guys for joining me. Please uh, subscribe to my channel, and uh, thank you guys for just allowing me to do this channel. I'm just showing you that you can do art, you can do uh, illustrations that are not simple manga or anime, or whatever, or the Chinese kind of illustrations. And you can use clear studio paint. They underrated clear studio paint. They said they only work for manga. But the truth is, it works for everything. You just have to do it. Probably in one of these, these programs, I will do something with Krita 4, or Krita 3.9 right now. Well, I will do something with that. And uh, also with Photoshop. But I like Creative Studio Paint because I already paid for that a long time ago. And it's been with me a long time ago, like three years. And I love it. I really love it. And uh, by the way, uh, also there is, a, there is a link in my uh, description that's for you to donate and support this artist. Help me out to support this channel, to uh, give you more content and give you more of this, some sort of video blog or pretty much practices, because you can practice by watching this. And it's easy, just use a sheet of paper and a pencil. That's it, you don't need any any anymore. You don't need a expensive Wacom, you don't need a, uh, a display tablet, you don't need or whatever brand. And by the way, uh, this channel is brought to you by me. That means for, the, for that reason I did your support and your help with subscribing to this channel and when we, when we raise these numbers of, in, of members to the 1,000, I will make a draw and select five or 10 people, and I will give them a free, you know, request. I can put their, their faces into a comic art character or 
whatever you want I can do it something is gonna be like a line art because I don't uh, I might I'm going to spend a lot of time so yeah this is for the for the uh, for the fortunate ones once we reach the thing I will do this totally randomly it's not choosing anyone so help me out spray the voice about this channel and uh, please uh, link to the uh, click to the link to the donation button and support this artist and thank you so much for watching me and we'll see you the next week thank you and have a blessed and wonderful day god bless you